Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For fast and the cheapest coins anywhere, make sure you guys check out MMOEXP.com and use code ZERK for 5% off your order. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zark's coming at you today with another Madden Ultimate Team video and today we have my second quad gameplay of the day. The first one already up is Debo Samuel, Justin Herbert, Justin Jefferson, and Trayvon Diggs. Today we have Tony Pollard, we have Cordero Patterson, yes two running backs. I think this is going to be a very interesting gameplay to see exactly how much I'm able to run the ball. I'm probably going to pass the ball as well in this gameplay and have them both out there on the field. So that's going to be pretty interesting as well. Uh, and then defensively, we have Sertain. I asked you guys, you know, what corner did you want to see, Sertain or Denzel? And surprisingly so, more people actually said Sertain, which to be honest, I'm kind of interested to see how he plays as well. And then for the fourth player, we have Jeremy Chin a user now i do want to give a shout out to jake v for being a part of the noti gang if you guys have a chance to shout out the next video drop a like in the vid make sure you guys are subbed to channel to kish blonde and comment down below noti gang and you guys if you did not already see there is a new special line currently up on underdog fantasy which you can use code zerk to match first posit up to 100 dollars for new users that did not get to go ahead and use the debo or the stefan Diggs over under one receiving yard there is a new one with jamar chase over under one receiving yard so it's pretty much like a guaranteed hit right you would imagine that jamar Mark Chase is at least going to get two receiving yards, hopefully. So make sure you guys go ahead, check it out. Use code Zerk to match your first deposit up to $100. And there may be another special line as well coming up with the Super Bowl. So if you haven't checked out the app already, hop in, take advantage of Jamar Chase one, and be ready for the Super Bowl too. Now, as I said, though, I have four cards that I'm using today. So we're going to fly through all these ratings here, but had to pick up Tony Power. Come on, man. 97 speed, 99 Excel. Now I do have Cowboys 30 out of 50 chem. 97 speed, 99 Excel. 97 agility, 92 carrying, 73 catch, 96 chance direction 95 trucking and 97 break tackle he's also 210 pounds he's got 96 change of direction 97 juke move 95 spin move as i said 97 break tackle and he's got 81 short route running now we're running freight train on him and jukebox and then we of course have as i said cowboys cam also i did get asked earlier if tony power does have uh leapfrog he doesn't have leapfrog and even 90 jumping and he doesn't cordero patterson 6'2 238 pounds so a lot bigger than Pollard. 96 speed, 95 Excel, 95 agility, 90 carrying, 91 catch, 93 change direction. Not as big of a trucking back though as Pollard. 83 trucking, 96 break tackle. And then he's got 93 change direction, 97 juke, uh, 86 short route running. Both these cards are going to be crazy. He's got freight train. And again, I'm running jukebox on him. He does get leapfrog. Now, the reason I'm running, you know, double jukebox instead of like recuperation of Ace or whatever is simply because of the AP right i can have both these guys on the team and they both get one ap one ap and then i have my quarterback still with all of his abilities activated now for team chems though he has vikings raiders patriots falcons and bears as i said defensively we have patrick Sertain, 98 speed 97 excel 96 agility 98 jumping six foot two with 99 zone 97 press 97 man and then he's got 97 change direction 72 block shed 85 hit power 80 tackling the card looks good and then we have universal coverage and acrobat i'm gonna use her today jeremy chin 97 speed 90 95 excel six foot three 99 zone 93 hit power he's also got as i said you know 95 excel 96 jumping 91 change of direction he's got 66 block sheds so really not the best and we are once again going to be using acrobat and for those guys who are curious yes he does actually get strong safety secondary position let's get into it looking to take your game of madden 22 to another level make sure to check out hotroute.tips get access to ebooks tips and schemes from madden pros use code zerk for 10 percent off let's dominate weekend league all right, so let's get into this. That's my opponent's top three for sure. Looks like he's got Sean Springs and DJ Reed, which DJ Reed is a really, really small corner, which is great news because we have two running backs that I think will run over. Him. So let's get this started and see what we can do. Now, as I said, we have two running backs on offense. This is one of the weirdest gameplays I've probably done all year. You know, I usually don't do like two running backs at the same time. But I honestly felt like this would be pretty fun. So let's get it going here, and I'll just try to get them both a lot of touches. Now, Patterson is pretty good as a receiver as well, so I've actually got him out there at receiver for this play, which he's not going to be open, but Pollard is going to be open. Good catch. It might end up being a 50-50 split. It might end up being, you know, Pollard gets 60% of the snaps, 
maybe you know it'll be the other way around i'm not really too sure we're just gonna roll with it and see how it goes but pollard here to the outside a couple of yards now i'm gonna run the ball here one last time with pollard and then i'm going to sub in patterson you guys can see though i mean he definitely uh fully expects this to be a run without a doubt so second and six i don't care though we're still gonna run it tony pollard showing off that speed now keep in mind here you know like i said guys i do run 30 out of 50 cowboys cam so pollard for me is gonna be faster than most people with just a regular team that don't have cowboys chemistry so just keep that in mind as well but here we're gonna run with patterson and pick up a game about eight now also remember that patterson is a much bigger running back than pollard so i can kind of use him more you know in between the tackles try to bounce off of guys whatever but here we have him in the flats so i'm gonna go to him and pick up the first as i said this is gonna be kind of interesting to see as well because i have pollard out here and then i also do have oh wow wow that was a bad pass so that right there was to an open receiver i was actually thrown to tony pollard who was open but we got an under pressure and accurate which i'm gonna be honest that is like the first one that i've ever gotten with derrick henry that bad under pressure and accurate and we end up throwing an interception was trying to get the ball to tony pollard who was open there so very very unfortunate as he's gonna have jerry rice in motion here and i'm right there with jeremy chin to get the interception and chin okay down about 30 and i don't know why he threw the pass honestly he should not have thrown that ball there at all but we're gonna try to run a little stretch play over here to the right side actually bounce it back it didn't really work out too well all right so third and 27 coming up i took a really really bad sack and now uh we're all the way back up here to third and 27. And once again, I was trying to go to one of the running backs. I actually had the tight end open. So my opponent sent a blitz at me. And you know what? Fourth and 29. I know it's a terrible idea. But yeah, we're going for it. And I'm also going to block Pollard here, which he gave me a little bit more time in the pocket to get the ball to Patterson with a toe tap. Yes, not only did I go for it there on fourth and 27, but I also converted it to Patterson with a toe tap. So that just could not have been any better for me as I'm really looking, I'm gonna throw it. He can't get to that. He cannot get to that, Tony Pollard, let's go. And I really feel like this is the perfect situation to sub in Patterson here and run the ball because he is a bigger running back. And unfortunately so, he just came right through. So now we're down at the one yard line and I'm gonna run a toss. And not only run a toss, but I have Patterson as a lead blocker at fullback and that did not work at all all right well that did not work at all third and goal coming up now we got to try to get into the end zone i was looking to go maybe to pollard he's got a spy i'm gonna scramble over here to the right side we couldn't beat him to the edge you know what i hate taking my three points in game plays i really really do but it's fourth and goal from the seven and uh i'm trying to force feed the ball to two running backs and i don't think i'm gonna run it in so we're just gonna take our three so far though we've seen some great stuff out of both of them patterson with the amazing toe tap catch you know that maybe you wouldn't expect most running backs to be able to make but patterson being a wide receiver you know maybe you did expect him to make that catch and then of course with pollard really showing off that speed in the open field so both of them really showing up here second and 13 though and he's gonna go to that corner yep already knew it was coming come on man already knew exactly what he was gonna go to he's got russell wilson but he also does have patterson himself so a minute 15 seconds left here no timeouts so i mean like at this point he could really do whatever he wants to he's gonna scramble outside of the pocket though and that is not gonna be open give me a pick give me an interception there ea i just need the interception right there taylor mays got to make a play on it he's probably wishing they would have got the uh animation there with calvin johnson we have that back over the middle a second interception for Jeremy Chin. I saw that coming all the way. Saw it coming the entire way. And you know what? This this looks a little crazy, okay? But I'm looking to go to Tony Power deep down the middle of the field. I don't know if it's going to be open. Eh, oh, it almost was. It honestly almost was. But instead, we're just going to go back to Patterson over the middle with Jukebox. Patterson in the open field here making some plays. Patterson is really making some great plays out here. Three catches for 73 yards and now we're gonna run the ball with tony pollard hit the left side and you guys oh stop and go stop and go tony pollard let's go pollard has seven carries for 45 yards so i did just run a hurry up here i really don't want to give him too much time but i also want to try to get into the end zone i'll call a timeout here. okay second and goal i'm going right back to the same play sit right back same play we're gonna run it to the left side Ooh, power you gotta truck him man now it's third and goal from the one yard line i think he's gonna run commit 
And if he does, we're about to hit Patterson out of the backfield, which he didn't run commit, but Patterson one-on-one. -on -one, give me that all day. I gotta say, I'm kind of surprised at how well this gameplay has gone. I was a little bit worried coming into this that maybe, you know, one running back would just have some bad plays and not really be able to do much. Maybe the other one will go off, but they're both just having monster games. Patterson might end up with over 100 receiving yards, and we might end up with Tony Power getting like 100 rushing. Like, that would be just nuts as he's chucking it up in a triple coverage thing complete. So up 10 nothing here at halftime. It's going great. Now, I really wish that he would, uh, you know, throw to Sertain. I want to see Sertain make some plays. We already have two user picks, though, with Jeremy Chin, and good throw right there to Patterson. Honestly, if I was my opponent, I'd be kind of scared to give me the ball back because we've been running the ball just really, really well. We've been controlling the clock. I can probably, like, if I get the ball back here with, let's say, a minute left in the third quarter, I could probably end the game. I could probably end the game right here as, oh, he was going to try Sertain, and he's going to slide. I'm going to put up a contain. I just don't really want him scrambling around in the pocket at all. So hopefully that contain will work out versus Russell Wilson. Once again, he, he's looking to go to Patterson, who's not going to be open. Wow, Sean. Now third down again. Let's see if we can get a stop here. I have the contains out there. I'm going to look out for Patterson, and we get the sack. Montez Sweat, beautiful play right there. Montez Montez Sweat and Randy Gregory, whenever I put up a contain, they're still fighting. They are still fighting for me, and they're out here making plays. Fourth and 19 coming up. I'm going to guard on Hester and Sertain. I mean, it was incomplete. Well, uh, he got in the way, I guess we can say there, of that pass being completed. So, Patrick Sertain, one target, one incompletion, and no way. There is no way. Taylor Mays seriously just glitched right through uh, Franco Harris. That is pretty crazy. We're going to run here to the right side, get another great block on the edge, and Pollard breaking tackles. Now let's go, Pollard. So Tony Pollard now over 80 yards, and now we're going to go back to the run game, but this time with Patterson, and he, he did get in there that time. So I just realized we only have three carries right now with Patterson for seven yards, and he probably just expects me to pass the ball whenever he sees Patterson in here, so we're going to start running the ball a little bit. Third and six, and he definitely expects me to pass, so that is exactly why we're going to run the ball to the outside and get blown up. Since it is fourth and six, you know, maybe I would take my three points, but we're already up by 10, and we're playing great defense. So, yes, we're going to go for this on fourth down, and I'm either going to throw to Patterson or Pollard, and Tony Pollard wide open for the TD. So this gameplay is going just amazing so far. Now, I do want to use Patterson a little bit more in the ground game. That's probably like the only thing that I want to change about our offense right now. Patterson's made great plays, you know, through the air. And uh, now Pollard as well kind of getting it on the action as Parsons couldn't tackle it. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. No, I had a contain there, and unfortunately so, just could not keep up with Russell Wilson. Sometimes this game with contains, they just, they really do not work at all. I'm going to look out underneath, though, and this time we do get there, and Micah is going to get the sack, and I'm just going to go down. And my opponent is about to get out of here, guys. I wish that I could see the stats on him, but I know that Patterson and Pollard just went off. Unfortunately, my opponent did quit the game, but here's the thing, right? We can actually take a look here. So if we go to head-to-head, -to -head, Tony Pollard, 11 rushing attempts for 82 yards one broken tackle uh what about the receiving three catches 31 yards and a td and then patterson had a really really good game too if we take a look at head to head only five carries for 11 yards not the best of time rushing with him to be honest with you guys but i don't know my opponent for some reason just played the run better when patterson was in there but receiving four catches 73 yards that seems low I think he had more than that. So the stats definitely, I think, are off. Because I am pretty sure that Patterson had like 80 yards. I'm pretty sure that he did. So Patterson, I mean, incredible game from both of the running backs. If you had to ask me, you know, which is my favorite. Honestly, I think if you don't run a Cowboys theme team, Patterson's probably better. I'm going to be completely honest, right? Because of the weight, 238 pounds, just such a big running back. He's got 96 speed, 95 excel. Receiving wise, he was incredible. Overall, I really do think that Patterson is the better running back. However, for me personally, with my Cowboys cam having 97 speed, 99 acceleration, I definitely saw the burst out there. And Power can catch himself. So I think, oh man, I, I don't know what I'm going to personally do at running back right now because I still like Ricky. I still like... Uh, all the other good running backs in the game right now, I might end up keeping Tony Pollard as a starter. 
I honestly might just switch it up and have some fun. And then also, Jeremy Chin was a really, really good user card. Didn't really get to see much out of Sertain, but we did get two user picks with Jeremy Chin. I still feel like I'd rather have, you know, Isaiah Simmons, Ted Hendricks out there. But still, an incredible, incredible gameplay. So, hope you guys did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure you guys drop a like the video. And, of course, hit that sub button down below. I'll see you guys next time.